The ongoing adoption of cloud-native methodologies and tools is impacting network operators of all sizes and types. So to find out what it means to large international carriers that service telcos, content providers and large enterprises, I'm talking today with Matthias Fristrom, Vice President and Chief Evangelist at Aurelian, which was formerly known as Telia Carrier. Hi Matthias, thanks for participating in our Cloud Native Telco Summit. Hello, and thanks for having me. So, first of all, what does Cloud Native mean to a network operator like Aurelian? Is it relevant to a large international carrier? Yes, I would actually say it is really relevant to us. Uh, I would say operators and telecom carriers have a lot of legacy data systems. There's a lot of legacy in us. We've been around for quite some time. But of course, our core business is not that type of business. Our core business is running networks. So it means a lot for us to change into cloud native systems, to use the advantages of having everything in the cloud and don't need to have our own operations around. So I would say it's extremely relevant for all of us to keep up with the pace in the industry and make sure you know we have better control of our data and focus on what we are supposed to focus on. So it's absolutely relevant for us. What impact has the shift towards cloud native practices had for Aurelian? What have been the main advantages, if any? Yeah, I would say it's had a quite big impact to us. Uh, the fact that we don't need to have a lot of technicians focusing on servers and running of servers and the power the servers needs and the location where to host the servers and all that. I think that's it's a big advantage for us where we can now focus on what type of applications should we use? What type of cloud native systems should we run on? Uh, we are a heavy user of Salesforce, for instance, for a lot more than just our, our customers and our sold services. Uh, and that's of course, the focus we can now have in the IT department is how to develop the systems to become even better and an advantage for us instead of, you know, how many more servers do we need to buy next month? How is the power consumption? how to run them and so on. So it's a big advantage for us not having too many servers. There will be systems, there will be legacy systems that still need servers in our own basement. But the majority of our systems right now are becoming cloud native and we hopefully can see even more coming forward. And just the fact that we now can focus on hiring smart people to develop applications instead of hiring other type of resources, that's a big advantage for us. What does this mean for network and services security? Is that a major consideration? Absolutely. I would say security is the major consideration for everyone. And especially in these, I would say, crazy times when we have uh, wars and other things going around the world, then security is even more important for us. And of course, compared to having your service in the basement, then there is a short cord down to the basement compared to having all this in the cloud and you need to have a lot of traffic flying around in the network to access these applications. Security is obviously a big concern. Uh, we need to make sure that the transport of the traffic towards the cloud and back from the cloud is extremely secure. We need to educate everyone we have in the staff about you know, how to enter systems, keeping passwords, not answering difficult mails, dangerous mails and all that stuff. Consideration of security is, is a big thing for, for carriers these days. Uh, it's also for our customers and we need to make sure that the transport of the traffic to and from the cloud is as secure as it can ever be. And I would say we are very close to have it really secure. Uh, but we're working on it every day to make sure it's even becoming more secure. What would you like to see happen next in the industry in terms of cloud native trends? And what would make Aurelian's day-to-day -day operations easier? Yeah, uh, I think that's a good question. Um, I think the difficult thing we have these days is of course that the rules are changing all the time. Uh, what can you store in the cloud? What can be in a cloud native system? In what country can you store this? For how long can you store this? What type of information can you store in this way? Uh, a couple of years ago, it was given that everything should go into the cloud because that's the easiest and smartest and best way of operating your network. 
not really knowing where your data is, but it's in the cloud and you can access it at all times. That is changing now. And we need to think carefully what can be in the cloud, where do the cloud exist, in what country, and, and that type of stuff. I would say more clear rules around this extremely difficult area would be one good thing. Uh, then, of course, we need to educate our staff even more. We need to be better at using these type of systems. We need everyone to be security aware. Uh, and, of course, there is a constant fight between the IT department and the legal department about what's what's safe, what's not safe, what's good, what's okay, uh, and all of that. You know, If we could figure out more clear rules around this, that would absolutely help us becoming much more efficient going forward. And then, of course, you know, more competent people in this part of the world is going to help everyone. So if there's any wish I could have out there, it would be to have more competent people coming into our business and not going to every other business. We need them in the telco industry as well. Great insights, Matthias. Thanks again for joining us and participating in the summit. Yeah, thanks for having me. It was fun. Thank you.